Your accent is very hard to understand for a non-native English, or whatever the language is that you are speaking. Speaker, please try to speak a little cleaner English next time. Thanks. I'll try my best, mate. Alright guys, how's it going? Now it took me about four or five attempts just to get through that one line, mainly because I was pissing myself laughing. This is the Kami manga slash anime hair add-on for Blender. I recommended it a couple of weeks ago, so I thought today we would take it for a little spin. It's available for free, I'll put the download link in the description down below. As always, please support third party developers. So let's quickly jump into Blender. I'm inside of edit mode, I'll go to the properties on the right hand side, and you can see here, start drawing. Now this is pretty easy and intuitive to use. I hit the start drawing tool, and I can start to draw out some manga here, check this out. How cool is that? Now when it comes to the options, they're very limited, but they're pretty damn focused. You can change the end and the start taper, so if you want to narrow it towards the end a little bit more, you can obviously do that. You have different bevel modes, now the first one that we have is the profile mode, and this uses Blender's native profiling tool, which is excellent because it means we can actually store presets. So we can change things like the curve, and we can start to get some really interesting shapes. Now the developer has made a video, so I'll put the link in the description down below, because he will obviously have a better understanding than what I can show off. But we can do things like sampling the curve, we can sample the length, we can smooth a strand out, and we can also straighten strands. Now one of the features is, you'll notice when I draw, that I actually draw over the top of the topology. We can hit the flatten tool, and that'll flatten everything out. Let me quickly undo this. In terms of the bevel, I'll go back to this, we can use the round, which will make everything round, and we can also use an object. So for example, you can reference an object, and that will drive the shape of the curve. We can change things like the depth, we can change the resolution of the curve, and we can change the offset as well. Now I'll come back to that in a second. What we have here is the spike, so if we want to create some spikes, we can do stuff like this. How Check this out. How cool is that? And we can also use the flatten version, which essentially draws on top of the topology, which is very cool. And once we're happy with everything, we can convert to a mesh. So when we click convert to mesh, it'll bring up a dialog box on the left hand side. We can change the resolution curve and we can change the amount of maximum points between the curve. So if I actually put this right down, we end up with something like this. <laughs> That's wicked. And that really is the Kami manga here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quickly delete this curve. I'm going to select the object and I'm going to start drawing again. And I'm just going to quickly draw out some random curves. And I mentioned the offset, so check this out. I'll just randomly do something like this. I'll put the offset right up. And we start to get this really nice abstract effect and I can start to just kind of do random pattern. And once I'm happy with what I have got, I'll put this back up to five. I'll convert to mesh. Let's put the resolution up again. That looks wicked. I'll hide the skull and I end up with this really nice abstract shape. Pretty cool to be honest. And that is the Kami Manga Hair Add-on. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad. You know what to do. Have a nice weekend.